So once again, I have proof that moderators are filthy, scumbags, vermin of the earth, uh, they have no souls, they have no morals, because there's no reason to excuse deleting my post, telling me I cannot post, when I'm trying to bring people up, but the topic itself is about bringing people down for the sake of bringing people down. That's all it's about. I'll link you to it so you can see for yourself. But essentially, this guy is saying that people are beta, they don't deserve the women they seek, they are, you know, terrible people. And there are a lot of terrible people. But it, it, it's not pointing out those flaws and be like, we should do something about this, you need to build yourself up, you need to change, uh, you know, pointing specific people of their bad deeds and their bad auras. That's not what this is about. It's just pure malevolence. Why would you need to randomly come out there and say that you all are fucking betas and nobody loves you, no one will ever love you? What's, what's the point of that? I do not see the point of that. And I've never once, uh, you know, posted things like that. And yet, meanwhile, I'm the one that gets fucking banned. This world is ruled by evil. And that's gotta change. See, I'm going to take away your forum. I don't care if it's by lawful or unlawful means. You're not going to have 4chan. It's that simple. Because I'm not going to stand around and let a scumbag like you tell me what to do, tell other people what to do, and fucking continue to live your life, you know, stealing other people's money to fund this fucking forum and then dictate who can and can't post. You are a fucking leech. You are a parasite. You rely on other people to fund your little white supremacist, you know, child killing forum. A fucking child died because of you. But meanwhile, you think you're in a position to tell anybody what to do. You're not. And if you had any semblance of intelligence in you, any semblance of a soul, humanity, you would know that rules are not meant to be enforced. Rules are not even meant to be subordinated with. You do not obey rules. You live by rules. Rules are something you use to build up yourself. Rules are things that are the building blocks to your mortality, to your being. You do not live, you do not live to be ruled over. You live to have something to live for. You live to have a principle, a conviction that moves you forward and betters you as a human being. And obviously you can't comprehend that or else you would just leave me alone because I am in no way infringing upon you. But you seem to be obsessed with making sure that I cannot post at your forum. Why? When you know how much it means to me to be able to have freedom of speech. You're doing it on purpose. You're doing it on purpose to rape me. And I'm not going to put up with it. I wouldn't put up with it from anybody. Anybody at all. Don't care how rich they are. Don't care how powerful they are. Wrong is wrong right is right. It's that simple. And one day I'm going to hurt you. One day I will come across you and I will break every bone in your body. I will burn your house down. I will fucking fuck your girlfriend if you have one. I sincerely doubt you do. Uh, I will ruin your life and I will enjoy every moment of it because you are the most foul, disgusting person I've ever laid eyes upon. Actually, I can't say that. Most moderators are about equal to your vileness. But, but that's saying a lot. You're worse than Hitler. You're worse than all the serial killers, all the everything. Because at least they know who they are. They know they're evil. They know they're demons, and they've accepted them. And they've gone beyond that and found something even in the midst of that evil. But you haven't. All you have is your control. All you have is your false sense of authority and just because you have a bunch of stupid morons backing you up and telling you that it's his form, he can do what he wants to does not make it any more right or any more legal it's not regardless of what people say so back the fuck off and you know I don't even know how to word this but what I'm essentially saying is that men without integrity or any kind of purpose whatsoever, have no business telling anybody what to do anyway. But even if they did, they should know better. Because there are people I don't like, but I admire them because I know 
they have something. They have that spark in them. They have that spark of humanity, and they live for something. They pursue something. They want to see the world be a better place, or they at least want to see themselves be better. And while I cannot always agree with every action or every belief system they have, I can at least say that person is trying. That is a good person. I can't say that about moderators. I cannot find one good thing to say about moderators. So that's why I say these things, like I'm going to hurt you. Because you're not a human being. You're not a person. And if you're not a person, I have no moral or legal obligation not to hurt you. That's it. And, you know, it, it pisses me off because, like I said, I was just trying to build people up. I know that supposedly I'm banned, meh, 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 meh. It's all bullshit. Because when you go to my banned page, it says banned for ban evasion. That's fucking retarded. How can you be banned for ban evasion? That's complete redundancy. But that's the logic of moderators. Because for them, it's not about rationality. It's not about right and wrong. It's not about some kind of principle. It's merely they want to exercise power over you because they are impotent buffoons that exist solely to rape other people because they're evil. They're just pure fucking evil. How do you react to something like that? If you think I'm in the wrong for saying that I would love to find Steve's house and, you know, just burn it down and, you know, kidnap his family and beat the shit out of them with a baseball bat fucking tell me how you would react to pure evil what you would do face to face with someone that is simply a void a darkness incapable of even the most basic compassion or any semblance of goodness whatsoever I can see goodness in animals my own dogs have more to offer and I see more spirituality in them than in these so-called human beings when I uh, recently uh, my bigger dog uh, hurt the foot of my little dog and she felt bad for the little dog she knew that she had hurt her and had not mean to but she still felt bad and she kind of crawled over and hid because she felt like she was in trouble because that was authentically feeling bad about what she had done even though it was an accident a fucking dog can comprehend that and you can't are you kidding me and on top of that you know she sniffs her and she nuzzles her and things because she wants her to get better that that's compassion that is love if a fucking dog can do that why can't you and I'm not asking you to be lovable I am asking you merely to respect my rights as a human being and you can't do that what does that make you clearly not human clearly not even a dog so what the fuck how the fuck am I supposed to react to that you mind telling me well, not you. I don't. I don't give a fuck what you have to say, Steve. I mean, to my viewers. So, like I said, I'm going to link you to what the topic was, and you can see all the bullshit that's posted. Meanwhile, this guy can't post because, you know, whatever. The matter it's the matter it's for him. But the world, uh, it's, it's 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 insanity. It's pure madness, and I'm not going to put up with it. That's it. I'm just not going to put up with it. One day there just won't be a fortune. It's that simple.